Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit. Ooh. Okay, well, you know what, Gemini? This is insane. Because I, I, this is my second time recording your reading. Because my maintenance man came, so I had to shut it off. I was like, I'm just going to start it over. What's funny, Gemini, is that the temperance fell out in the first position the first time I did your reading. So that's just confirming to me. You know, okay, okay. We'll dive into this, but... I'm going to dive first into the temperance card, which is letting me know that you guys are at this peaceful place in your life. You finally feel like things are coming into balance. Things are like working out in your favor. I'm just getting overall, you're at peace. You no longer allow people to disrupt your peace or to like, I'm really getting to like trigger any sort of inner, inner conflict or internal conflict here. Now, I'm also getting Gemini... For a single Gemini out there, I'm getting that you're finally at this place where you're ready for a commitment and you're ready for a serious commitment. So you've been through enough like toxic relationships to know what you want. You're not willing to settle. You are open to give love another try, but at the same point, you're waiting it out for the right person to come in. Okay, let's see. Messages for Gemini. That is so funny. Messages for Gemini. Okay, we got the King of Cups coming through. The Fool in Reverse. Two of Wands in Reverse. Six of Cups. So with the Six of Cups showing up in the reverse, it lets me know there are a lot of things that you're outgrowing. You guys have matured significantly. Some of you guys have recently moved out of your childhood home. But I'm getting a lot of growth within your energy and a lot of maturity within your energy. Like you have outgrown a lot of things. Uh, some outdated thinking, some the ways you were doing things, that is all changing. Also, self-doubt. That's why I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, Gemini. Part One of the things that you're outgrowing, one of the significant things within your life that you are outgrowing is self-doubt. And some of you guys are beginning to realize, like, where did this self-doubt even come from? And you, you, you figured it out. You've realized, like, where this self-doubt even came from. And this allows you to heal from this, to outgrow this energy. Because there's a lot of confidence coming from your energy. I love it. Also, you guys have the Ace of Swords here. And the Hangman in reverse. You're no longer allowing your mind to keep you stuck. You're no, lo no longer allowing self-doubt to keep you stuck. Because the energy that you're in is in this Queen of uh, Wands. Which is all about confidence, independence, strong will as well. But with the Ace of Swords, it's like you know exactly what you need to do. And you know the steps to take to make certain things happen in your life. And I'm definitely getting that that's where you're headed towards here. <clears throat> your advice is to get out your comfort, your comfort zone here. So they're wanting you to get out, explore more, or to push yourself out there is something in regard to, it's, it's like even if you feel like you've already made a significant change, there's still something here that you continue to do. Um, and they want you to stop doing it. And it, it's involving you, kind of, it, it's, it's something that you're comfortable doing. And they want you to break free of this, to get out of this. Why is the King of Cups showing up here? I'm getting this message that someone knows. 
I'm getting someone knows like the time has come for you to be in a relationship, a serious relationship. Because it looks like you're about to be working on a relationship with someone else and someone who's very kind, compassionate and understanding. I'm also getting like for someone here that could be into like uh, spirituality, there's something very uh something different about you that makes you stand out from the crowd and whoever this person is it's like the two of you are kind of like polar opposites you're coming from two separate worlds but um you complement each other very well and this person loves like how mysterious you are they love that you're different you're not like everyone else they like that about you because I'm seeing you working on a relationship with this person. But this whole situation is showing up in your challenge position. So some of you guys may be questioning whether you're actually ready for a relationship. And quite possibly, that's what they're talking about here with the two of wands in reverse. Is you, some of you guys, even though you want a relationship, someone here, it looks like you're more comfortable dreaming about a relationship versus actually being in one. And that's, they're, they're wanting you to get out your comfort zone to explore this relationship that's coming in. Give me more about the full in reverse. Give me more about the full in reverse. Ooh. I, I love it. Um, the energy that I'm getting, I like your person's energy. They're showing up as the King of Pentacles, also the King of Cups. So they're emotionally mature. They're also very successful as well. They have a lot going for themselves. And this is someone who's looking for a serious relationship. Um, your energy is showing up as the fool in reverse. For one, I am getting, yes, take things slow. Don't rush into this relationship. But I like your energy because even though you're the fool in reverse, so you're ultimately saying, I'm not sure if, if this is going to be worth me taking the, uh, a leap of faith towards. I'm not sure if this is going to turn out in my favor. And the reason why, because when the fool is in the upright, the fool has released the baggage from the past and they're only carrying with them whatever is necessary for them to move forward on this new journey but you're still holding on to some baggage from the past whether you realize it or not but that's what's causing you to hesitate when it comes to this new beginning but even though you're not quite sure if you can trust this situation or not i'm getting that a part of you acknowledges the reason why you're hesitant when it comes to this new uh, situation is because of what has happened to you in the past and you acknowledge that, which allows you to go ahead and move forward with this relationship with this new person. I am definitely getting that it's going to make you extremely happy. You'll realize that you never had anything to really be concerned about. Um, because whoever this is that you're attracting towards you is much different than the people that you've attracted in the past. Yeah, quite possibly you guys could be meeting this person at work, but there is someone that you're about to take the time to get to know this person and they're going to take the time to get to know you in order for this relationship to work. But what I like is that the two of you will take things slow. I don't get that you guys will rush into this and that's what's going to allow this relationship to work. Okay, messages for my Geminis who are in a relationship. King of Swords, Six of Wands, Outcome is Transformation. Um, I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any significant issues within this connection. I'm getting a specific message for someone here who has made a drastic change within their life. Like you've made a decision. I'm getting that someone decides either take on a new position at work or you went back to school, which is causing a lot of stress on you, which is ultimately affecting this relationship. Because I'm getting that you're someone who is respected within your field of work. 
And whatever position you either are in or you're aiming for requires more education. And that's why I'm getting quite possibly you're studying, you went back to school, or you just have to do some on the job research or something here. And this is interfering in your connection. If anything, I see like you may be taking some frustration out on your person. Now, the thing is, I'm not really getting any negative energy coming from your person because they love the way you treat them. They feel like, they feel like the two of you um, have achieved a lot together. I'm getting, if anything, like, yes, your person may understand that you're a little bit more irritable than you typically than you typically are, but it seems like they're understanding of that. They're very supportive of you. They want you to be successful. I definitely see, like, the two of you um, making this relationship last for the long term. So, I don't really get any concerns here, to be honest, Gemini. Just be mindful that you're taking care of yourself. I understand that you have a lot of stress because you have a lot of things on your plate. But just be mindful that um, you're not lashing out on the people that you love. Messages in regards to the person that Gemini is in separation from. Messages regarding the person Gemini is in separation from. Queen of Pentacles. Love it. Eight of Wands. The Magician. Okay. I know you guys hate to hear, but whoever this is for, you you want to hear about the person that you're in separation from. And I'm really getting, I love your en energy, Gemini, because during a separation, you have proven that you're fine on your own. I'm getting that you have leveled up in, in multiple ways. And this person, like, they're seeing you in an entirely different light here. They see, like, that you're good. You're good on your own. You never needed them. And that's what's drawing this person towards you. I'm getting a lot of, like, fast, unexpected communication from this person. I'm definitely kidding that this person will be reaching out to you very shortly here. Quite possibly within the uh, next eight days to eight weeks. But... To be honest, Gemini, I do see that this time, the two of you can actually make this relationship work. Whenever I see the magician, it lets me know that you guys have the willpower within yourselves to see things through to the end. And that's the energy that I'm getting coming from you guys. It looks like a lot of maturity has taken place during this separation, which has made room for... The potential of this relationship so meaning you guys could finally um see where things could go um now that you guys are more level-headed and you're more mature but i am definitely getting that i'm getting that you guys will give this another go and it looks like this time things will work out okay messages for my single gemini's please and thank you messages for my single Gemini's so you guys already have a secret admirer here what I want to see I'm getting that there's someone who is crushing on you, but they're afraid of competition. Um, but I do see this person expressing the way that they feel about you. It looks like the reason why they haven't came forward is because they're concerned that you may be interested in someone else. But the energy showing up for this connection between you and this person's is the lover so it looks like you and this person will develop this strong spiritual bond here where you're, you're connecting on multiple levels but there is this strong attraction as well so i love this person there this is someone who's very compassionate kind understanding and someone that you feel like you can trust I'm not quite sure why. They, I don't know because I'm not getting that you guys are 
in your energy, Gemini. I'm not getting that you're paying attention to anyone. So maybe they're aware of several people being interested in you that you're not aware of, but it's just kind of weird how this five of wands came through and the rest of this spread is like so positive and that's why i'm not going to give it that much attention because it seems like whatever this five of wands is referring to is not significant at all because the energy of this connection that's coming through for you and this person is like very good it's very positive so it looks like someone could have some fears that just aren't necessary in regards to this relationship okay messages regarding the person that gemini is crushing on messages regarding the person that gemini is crushing on okay so this person is ready or you guys are ready to speak your truth it looks like you guys will be uh confronting this person being very blunt and direct and gemini's typically are you guys are typically very blunt and direct a lot of air energy. So you guys could be dealing with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh. Um, I'm not sure who's going to speak first. But I am getting a lot of honesty within this communication between you and this person. Your outcome is the sun card. So it looks like you guys are going to be extremely happy with uh the outcome of the situation so after you guys have communication or you communicate with this person you guys are going to be extremely happy with the outcome so it looks like two of you are on the same page you guys just have to talk about it and you'll realize that you both want the same thing so i do see like you and this person quite possibly summertime which is right around the corner it looks like you and this person will find yourself in a relationship with one another. Okay. Messages regarding new love. New love for Gemini, please and thank you. New love for Gemini. So we have the Eight of Swords. So you guys are saying you're not sure if you ever will find love. Some of you guys may not even feel like you're worthy of the love that you truly desire. So it looks like there's some self-esteem issues that you guys need to resolve within yourself before you're able to attract the right person towards you otherwise you'll be attracting these narcissistic type of energies that feed off of yours and then you have more um healing to do release i'm not getting a connection quite yet um you will have a connection though some of y'all could be meeting someone offline but I don't get that right now is the time for you to be in a relationship because, again, there are some um, insecurities that you need to work out within yourself, some insecurities that you need to work on releasing before you attract the right person. So they're asking you to do some work on yourself before you seek a relationship with someone else because how can you truly love someone else if you don't truly love yourself? So that's why they're wanting someone here to work on yourself Take it as it resonates. If you know it's not you, then leave it there. Ooh. Hold on. Drop all these cards. dreams coming true as your overall energy i love it so you guys are getting some sort of wish fulfillment feeling like everything is just falling into place i am getting it's like new vitality so someone is feeling like this surge of energy has overtaken you i am getting that you will begin to feel like uplifted more happy have the energy to do things do things and i mean summertime tends to bring that energy out of people so i am getting like take advantage of that 
and set yourself up for success when the winter time comes back around and you know that you'll feel drained. But I am getting that you'll begin to feel more like yourself, like more happiness here. I am also getting like someone here doing some travel or you guys just getting out and exploring new new things, doing things uh, to uplift your spirit, to uplift uh, lift your energy. But it looks like things are just naturally flowing to you. Um, you don't feel like you're working hard to have certain things. You don't feel like you're struggling to have certain things. I am also getting uh, someone that's been waiting for you to reach out to them will be reaching out to you because it looks like the two of you have been on each other's minds but they've been waiting for you to reach out to them Okay, I am getting a specific uh, situation with a younger female. It looks like you have two options coming towards you. One of these uh, individuals may be your age or a little bit younger, and someone may be a little bit older than you as well. But it looks like you have two people interested in you because there's um, they're both wanting to date you, wanting to take you out. Now, the funny thing is I'm getting that the both of these are past energies. I'm not getting a new energy coming from either one of these or they're just familiar. So meaning you, you know them or you feel like you've known them. You may, it doesn't mean that you've had to date them, but I am getting that there's something familiar about these individuals. Give me one more about this situation. Yeah. Oh, but you are attracting new love. You will have options. <laughs> oh my gosh. Twin flame keeps wanting to come out. One of these options, you feel like they are a twin flame. You will have a new love that's coming through. I'm getting that you are at this place where you're open for communication from someone here. It's someone, someone from the past where communication has been shut off between you and this person. And it looks like you're at this place where you're open to hear what they have to say. Um, but I am getting that you will have several offers coming through. I'm not quite sure. Let me see. Out of all of these offers, can you give us who is the best or how will they know who is the best one for them? Honey, they're... You'll know. Money is coming in for you. You'll know who your soulmate is. They don't have to tell you. They're saying just enjoy it. You have options. Get out, date, enjoy it. Don't stress too much over who's the right one. It'll naturally come to you. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment if this reading impressed Nate. But with that being said, you all take care.